I'm delighted today to welcome a special guest to this edition of On the Agenda, Andy Mackey of Comcast Cable. Mr. Mackey is Vice President of Government and Community Affairs in the Atlanta region of Comcast, and he's the person that we work with most closely on, on bringing about the reality of City TV. Uh, first, uh, some of you may remember, we had a three-hour block that was on four uh, times a week. And then we moved to a 24-7 uh, operation on digital channel to uh, Comcast 22. But uh, uh, Mr. Mackey, it's great to have you with us today. Bill, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. You know, the, uh, going back several years, we had with Mayor Thompson and some members of the city council, they very much wanted to have a government access channel for the city of Douglasville uh, for the benefit of the city government and communicating with our residents and the businesses in this community. And of course, in working with you and your colleagues at, at Comcast, it was a long road, uh, a lot of stops along the way, uh, but, uh, and we received some assistance during that process from the Georgia Municipal Association that I know you've worked with on sure. some other uh, cities. Uh, but of course, uh, we finally reached the point that we were able to get the franchise agreement uh, signed by Comcast in the city of Douglasville, uh, and which was uh, great. Uh, for us and we thank our citizens and of course along the way we decided to hire Kelly Hunter to be the director of, of our uh, communications operation uh, and it was up to her of course to work closely with Comcast but also to identify the equipment we need, uh, uh, be concerned about what type of program we would have and, and, and at long last we did go on the air and we've been very pleased with the operation and, and so it's just great to, to have you with us today to talk a little bit about uh, where we've been and then where we may be going. So from your standpoint, you've been involved throughout this process. Just share with us uh, uh, what goes on so that a, a city, especially looking at Douglasville, uh, to go from the idea stage to, hey, we got lights and camera in action. Well, um, like anybody else, um, there's a lot of folks that have great ideas out there. And uh, the difference between a great idea and good execution is a persistence and the level of investment that in this case the city of Douglasville is able to make right. in this enterprise. And that is really our concern. We certainly see uh, cable television and specifically a government access channel as being a great means for a, a government entity to communicate with its citizens um, and certainly are great advocates for that. Uh, the worst scenario is where there is a dedicated channel and with outdated announcements where you're in March and you're talking about the pumpkin festival right. the previous October. Uh, so our number one concern when we have these conversations is to make sure that um, the local government is committed to the idea, they're going to bring the resources to the table and really make sure they have skin in the game and it is a right. partnership and certainly uh, the city of Douglasville has done a great job with that, uh, producing uh, seven shows a month, which is a, a really uh, significant uh, accomplishment, especially this early uh, in the life cycle of City TV. And, right. and so we're uh, proud to be a partner. Well, delighted that uh, we reached the point uh, with the city and our elected officials and you and your colleagues at Comcast. We were able to put those uh, pieces together. And we certainly have tried to have quality programming, uh, and we believe we have succeeded. And in, in fact, uh, we've had a number of, of other uh, communities to come visit us. Uh, in fact, I've done a couple of these on the agenda programs with uh, city managers uh, and a county manager that uh, came to look over uh, our operation. I told them the only prerequisite to coming is they couldn't take Kelly Hunter back home with them because <laughs> we are very pleased with what she and, and her, her staff have done and we are committed to having quality program with a lot of pertinent information and uh, uh, and, and we are very pleased with that and, and uh, actually uh, uh, we think that our crew uh, has done such a, a great job. Georgia Municipal Association uh, is using them. This will be the second year at their annual meeting to, to be uh, uh, the, uh, the, the group that does all of the taping that you see on the, on the screen, you know, at the opening session. Sure. And in fact, uh, recently concluded uh, uh, the annual 
uh, trip that some of the leaders in Georgia, municipal leaders, make to several cities, that they took city TV with them this time to uh, record that. And I'm sure we'll see some of that at the annual meeting. But uh, well, Congratulations, and I'm glad to see everybody made it back to Douglasville. <laughs> Well, we'd like uh, really to talk a little bit about, uh, with the franchise agreement, what that obligates us to do and then, and then what Comcast works with us to be sure it gets carried out. Sure. The, the principal tenant behind the franchise agreement, of course, is uh, the city provides the rights away for Comcast to put its facilities in, uh, along the streets and ultimately to serve customers. Uh, the principal uh, compensation for that is the franchise fee that mm -hmm. folks see at the bottom of the bill. Uh, that is 5% of our gross revenues that we earn here in the city of Douglasville goes to the city right. for, that, for that right. Um, so in that way, we really are tied closely together and that the better we do as a company, the more revenues that come into the city of Douglasville. Right. You know, one reason it, we wanted you to come out uh, really at this time uh, of year and, uh, was because there's some special things that are beginning to happen with uh, Comcast, especially uh, uh, that impacts us uh, with this being a digital channel. Uh, in fact, uh, to our viewers, uh, when we come back in just a minute, we've got a special segment that you will see. But we also uh, uh, plan to use that as a separate piece on City TV uh, as a, uh, one of our uh, information uh, highlights that we do. Uh, and so uh, if you will just stick with us, when we come back, uh, we'll uh, give you some great new news. The rainbow, my pot of gold. Your daddy's little girl to have a home. I'm it's easy to tell if you've had way too many. But what if you've had just one too many? Buzz driving is drunk driving. This is Bill Osmond, City Manager in Douglasville, and with me today is Andy Mackey of Comcast Cable. He's Vice President, Government and Community Affairs for the Atlanta region, and we have some special news we want to share with uh, the viewers here on City TV. And so what I'm going to do, uh, Mr. Mackey, is just ask you to just tell us what's going on that uh, will en enhance what we believe will be our ability to communicate with more people. Uh, in the Douglasville area, but I know from Comcast standpoint, marks a significant upgrade in, in the services that you're providing. Absolutely. Thank you again for the opportunity to be with you. Uh, we are in the midst of making a significant investment in our plant here in Douglas County as well as the rest of the Atlanta region. Uh, we are spending about $65 million over the course of two years to increase the number of high definition excuse me, high definition channels that our customers receive, the amount of on-demand content, and perhaps most importantly, introducing the next generation of the cable modem service so our customers receive faster speeds, both upstream and downstream. All right, and of course, from the standpoint of City TV is why we're delighted to have the 24-7 uh, channel, which is digital, channel 22. Uh, we know we've got a lot of, of, of people in Douglasville who have televisions that are the old analog uh, sets and, and even though uh, they have been able in the past to get a converter box at no cost, one per household, getting that message to people is sometimes difficult and, and so we believe that once this takes place our viewership will go up because there will be more people who will have the digital capability because it's more than, than uh, City TV, they will be motivated to, to uh, get that box for it. It's a, a whole array of things that, that you're making changes on. That's, that's exactly right. As it stands now, most of our customers have a digital converter or a cable card or, or a digital device in their home by which they can receive all of their channels. Uh, as of June 1st, throughout Douglas County, we will be moving our expanded basic channels, or channel 30 through 78, 
to where they are exclusively seen on digital. So you'll right. have to have a digital device in order to get those. Right. So what we're doing for our customers is we're providing additional equipment at no cost. So again, folks already have a uh, digital box in their home for the most part. If they don't, we'll provide one. Additionally, we'll provide two of these digital adapters. Uh, so uh, those can be hooked up into a bedroom, basement TV, wherever else that uh, you may have a television set that's directly connected to the wall. Uh, again, we'll provide one digital box and up to two of these adapters at no incremental cost to our customers. Uh, if they need a third adapter, they're $1.99 per month. If they'd like a second uh, digital box because they want access to the on-demand content or the guide, which you won't get with the adapter, uh, that is an additional $6.95. Right. And for our viewers uh, that are watching, on Digital 22, obviously you already have the digital capability, but you may have friends and neighbors that don't, or you may be like it. At my house, uh, Andy, uh, the television in the den, uh, uh, we're able to receive the digital signal, but the television in the bedroom, which is an older model, uh, doesn't have uh, the capability at this point. But once what you're talking about takes place. I need even get one of these at no cost so I can put in the bedroom and, and have digital capability throughout my house. That's right. City TV in the den, city TV in the living room, city TV in the basement. Sounds like a dream to me. <laughs> but, uh, and we're showing on our screen uh, the number that you can call for more information and also the website. So if you have questions about what Mr. Mackey and I are talking about, uh, that will give you the uh, ability to have your questions answered. But th the key that we're both making is you have the opportunity uh, to obtain the digital converter, the digital equipment, so that you will have better access to your television. Your picture will be clearer, and uh, it'll just be an upgrade. Uh, and, and I know you're trying to get the word out on this in a lot of different ways. That's right. That's absolutely right. We are sending uh, mail to our customers. Uh, we're making telephone calls to our customers, and actually customers who don't have digital equipment on their television will start to see crawls across the bottom of the television screen. So that's, that's the call to action. June 1st is the important date. And again, uh, you can order your uh, adapters over the web. You can call us up, or you can stop by our cable store in the landing and pick one up. All right. And I know we plan to try to communicate uh, in several ways to the citizens of Douglasville. Uh, interestingly, one of our best uh, means of communication we have found is we do a flyer, and when our sanitation workers go out uh, to pick up the, uh, the household garbage, uh, uh, they will take one of these flyers and put it on the containers uh, because, you know, People don't do a number of things, but most everybody every week puts out their garbage. And, uh, and we found that to be one good way uh, to be able to communicate. But uh, uh, if you would, let your uh, family members know uh, or just, just tell anybody that you think of that watches television that this is something important that Comcast is doing, and we hope you will avail yourself of it. So any final words on this subject that you want to share with our viewers? I think that pretty well covers it, and thank you very much for the time. I really appreciate it. And we'll be right back. My name is Marsha Hampton, Community and Downtown Services Director. My City TV is downtown. Personal foul? Inactive activities on a glorious day. Huh? Let's get out there and play! Sweet. Ooh, freeze! When do I get to be in? Uh-oh. Hey, Reggie, frozen people can't talk. P-L-A. An hour a day. I'm in. There are lots of great play ideas online, but don't stay too long. final section of our program today, we've talked about City TV getting started. We've talked about uh, what's about to happen or what, uh, when you watch this program, uh, it already uh, will be happening in terms of 
of the digital upgrade, but uh, we're going to look even beyond that now. Uh, we thought since we had Andy Mackey uh, with Comcast Cable with us, uh, we would get him to kind of put on his crystal ball, uh, look into that, and, and, and just, uh, Andy, if you would, uh, what changes do you see in the foreseeable future, uh, both in the cable industry and, and uh, ways that uh, City TV and Comcast uh, may even work uh, together to make what we're doing an even more vital communication tool? Sure, sure. Uh, there are several trends that are taking place within our industry and the way people view content. Uh, first of all, with the uh, advent of DVRs and on-demand, people are used to watching what they want to watch when they want to watch it, not mm -hmm. beholden to a certain schedule or when uh, destination TV, if you will. So that's one trend, and we think that that is going to continue on uh, to... Be, to um, not only when they want to watch something, but where they want to watch right. it. So we envision that more and more people are going to watch content over their computer and even over their mobile devices. That's one trend that we already see taking uh, shape and certainly anticipate that continuing on into the future. Right. And I know when uh, talking with my sons uh, that they, as you say, puts everything at their convenient time rather than trying to be in front of the television at a particular time, which used to be what we would do when we were younger. Uh, but uh, we appreciate you sharing that. Uh, any other thoughts uh, that you want to share with our viewers today concerning Comcast and, and cable television? Well, uh, first of all, we're very proud to serve uh, the city of Douglasville, Douglas County, and this entire community. Uh, certainly, it is a wonderful place to serve. We're proud of being a part of this community. In fact, we had 25 of our employees over at Inner Harbor uh, just last Saturday doing some work over there, beautifying the facilities. Okay. And so in addition to being committed to maintaining a state-of-the-art system and providing services that our customers demand, we also uh, value being an in integral part of the community because, after all, our employees do live here right. as well as work here. Right. To our viewers, thank you for joining us for today's uh, edition of On the Agenda. Uh, Andy, thank you for being uh, with me today. Thank you for having when me. When we come back, I'll be talking uh, with Kelly Hunter, who, as you know, is our uh, director here at City TV. Folks, why won't we go to the doctor? My uncle called, speech all slurred, complaining his arms numb. He called everyone. He even called my daughter, Tierra, because, you know, she's got a year of nursing. <laughs> everyone thinks he needs to go to the doctor, including me. So he said, well, will you take me? I'm like, I'm on the road. He goes, I'll wait. <laughs> Stroke's no joke. If you or someone you love have symptoms of stroke, don't wait. It may be too late. Dial 911. Time loss is brain loss. Hi, I'm James Gribble, and my city TV is streaming 24-7. Welcome back on the agenda, and with me now is Kelly Hunter, uh, whom you know well as uh, the Director of Communications for the City of Douglasville, meaning she heads up City TV. Uh, and Kelly, you were listening and watching the uh, interview that I had with Andy Mackey of Comcast Cable. Tell us what it will mean uh, uh, from your standpoint for City TV for these changes that uh, Comcast is, is getting ready to make. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me on here to kind of give some closing remarks to that. Andy did a great job, I think, of expressing those changes that are taking place. For us here in the city of Douglasville, our proximity uh, count-wise, residency-wise, is right around the 30,000 um, mark with that as far as residents. We're believing and giving the potential that this uh, broadcast or this expansion of their services and the digital box being available to each and every home that is a Comcast service mm -hmm. uh, customer has the opportunity now to pick up the City TV programming schedule and the programming that we put together on a, a monthly and a regular basis. Right. Because I know one of our uh, frustrations, if you want to mm -hmm. uh, call it that, is that we know that we uh, have had a lot of people in Douglasville that have the older television sets, uh, uh, especially people who may be home during the day that would be watching, that are watching television, but they didn't have uh, the digital capability and, and had not availed themselves of, of getting the, the one converter box and 
And what uh, uh, Mr. Mackey talked about, uh, we believe will result in a, in a lot more people having the capability of watching uh, city TV. And, and you know, we're convinced if they do watch city TV, they'll come back uh, again and again because we believe we have something that uh, the viewers enjoy. That is true. And I believe uh, I can attest as a customer who actually um, exercised the, the directions that came in my cable bill to get the additional uh, converter box, right. uh, called the number, told them how many uh, that I needed for my home. They were there uh, in a two-day service. So they're ready to be installed and, and uh, provide that digital TV service in additional rooms within my home. So right. that makes, makes the, my viewing capability easier. So that's what we believe will provide to uh, our viewers as well. Right. And, you know, we may have people that are watching this episode that only a few days before got their converter box. And for those people in particular, and for our old timers, uh, that uh, may be like myself, is that I think I know what the schedule is, but mm -hmm. then sometimes I forget when different things are on. I kind of uh, just walk us through uh, what is, I started to say, a normal day, <laughs> but uh, I'm not sure normal would be. I guess what a typical, typical. Uh, uh, Monday or a typical Thursday uh, would be for City TV. Okay. Well, one thing that we provide each uh, day of the week, seven days a week, is our program guide, which will run at 8, 12, 4 p.m., and 9 p.m. So at the t those type, uh, top of the hours, each of those hours, our program guide for the day will do a scroll and you'll have the ability to find exactly what program is available that day. Right. There are some programming uh, blocks that we put together that repeat themselves on a, a daily basis. Um, what we have tried to do is with our main programming is put them in day parts throughout the week so that if your schedule allows you to catch Ask the Mayor or on the agenda on a Monday evening, then um, you can look there and find mm -hmm. what time frame. Maybe Tuesday evening works better in your schedule and so it's very flexible uh, mm -hmm. in looking at the, uh, the time frames. Right. And you mentioned uh, uh, the mayor's program. Of course, this is the program that I have on the agenda. And, and we have city council meetings. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, tell us, though, about a couple of the other programs that, uh, that we, we have provide? as regulars. Sure. Uh, I think Andy Mackey uh, alluded to the fact that we produce seven programs, and that is uh, outside of the council meetings that we pr produce on a regular basis. We also do chamber lunches that are held next door mm -hmm. in the conference center each month. We produce that out. And a variety of what we call special features. When uh, we're out in the public and we're able to get a lot of community events, we'll put those right. together. But also we offer uh, a police department program called the Police Report. Uh, the lineup is our Parks and Recreation Department. Gov 101 is with uh, Marsha Hampton and Jeff Knowles. Um, and then we have... Um, Main Street TV, okay, hold on. Uh, and besides those four, then we have an addition to that Main Street TV with Stephanie Alworth, our Main Street Manager. Right. Um, we have a lot of flexibility with those programs and uh, yours here is actually a green screen program that we pull in right. a uh, library set, uh, the virtual set that's, uh, we feel like we're in Hollywood when it's uh, uh, produced. And then uh, with the other programs, some of them we take them out on location with the mayor sometimes and uh, Main Street TV highlights a lot of the uh, downtown historic uh, value of our area and our community. Right. Well, I know uh, it's hard to realize that we're uh, just moving now into the third, third year, year. Yes, sir. of City TV. And uh, I do think that you and your staff uh, have done and continue to do a great job. Uh, but if there are things that you would like to see on City TV that we're not doing, please let us know. Uh, we're showing you uh, both our phone number and our website. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. You can direct uh, uh, your questions uh, or your comments uh, to Kelly Hunter uh, because what we do want to have on City TV are, are those programs that uh, uh, really are appeal to the, the uh, businesses, to the residents of Douglasville. Uh, and uh, so let us know if, if we're missing something that you think we should be uh, covering. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you have ideas, uh, tell us a little bit concerning mm -hmm. the uh, City Connector and, and how you try to get people to uh, uh, let you know about the possibility of them being on City Connector. Yes, sir. City Connector is our program that we do once a month, the last Tuesday of the month at Arbor Place Mall. 
It's from 12 to 1 p.m. We schedule in four different guests with main topics mm -hmm. that are of interest to the community, to the area, something that may be relevant time-wise. And in between there, we have what we call the interactive community calendar. And this is the opportunity for the general public who would be representing a nonprofit uh, organization or a not-for-profit uh, type situation, outreach, some kind of com community event. They get their 30 seconds of fame, so to right. speak. Right. And um, they can register uh, to do that. We'll uh, put that uh, email address up there that Alice Stevens helps coordinate that for us. And um, they have their opportunity to be on to promote their program that is happening the next month. We do right. forecast that out um, by month. Right, right. Always give my guest an opportunity for a final word, even the director of City TV. So anything that you want to say as we wrap up this segment? Well, I want to say it has been really a fast three years. It has moved by very quickly. Um, I want to thank my team, the guys that uh, work for me and work in this department. They do an excellent job. Um, everybody puts forth their best foot 100%. I think it's uh, evident in the quality of what we do and how we put that together. And uh, we're always dreaming, always looking to expand. So there are some new changes heading our way with City TV. Right. And just very quickly, when you mentioned we're always streaming, uh, that in addition to what we have uh, on uh, digital uh, channel 22, yes, sir. Uh, I know that uh, we are involved in a couple of other things. Quickly cover those for us. Sure. We uh, also uh, stream our cable broadcast on mycitytv.com. That's M-Y-C-I-T-I-TV.com. So we are virtually anywhere you are. If you're uh, traveling out of town, you want to find out information that's going on, log on to mycitytv.com programming Thank you for being with us today and hope you will join us next time for